What's up everybody? It's your boy, Meme here. There's a plane outside, so sorry about that, but I'm too lazy to wait for the plane. God Trumpet! Check this out! Uh, Yamaha 22335, I think. Uh, yeah, it's, it's Yamaha-ing it up. Check it out. And it's got a, it's got a mouthpiece, and the case is right over there. Uh, the light is, might be a bit weird, because there's this massive box. It was like, it was, it's literally like, as tall as me. There was this massive box with this small, like, trumpet, and the trumpet case came in. So, I don't know. Uh, so, listen to this. I'm not that good of a player, um, but next year I'm going to be taking jazz band, and, uh, I, I've, I'm going to be taking lessons over the summer. So, listen to this. I was thinking somebody was coming into my room. That wasn't good. But, um, something I find interesting about the trumpet and with a lot of brass instruments, I don't know if it's like playing other brass instruments, but when you're not really looking at music or anything because you already know how to do the piece, it, it's. It, where, where do you look? Do you, do you look forwards? Because like there might be somebody behind you, and you don't you don't make it look like you're staring at them or anything. Like, do, or do you look at the teacher, or like do you just look at your trumpet? Like, what do you what do you do? What do you like? I'm gonna play again. Watch. Uh, we got it mint condition with a sterilized mouthpiece for two hundred dollars less than brand new, and this is basically brand new so we basically just saved two hundred dollars for the exact same thing so that's really nice uh that's the song we learned that's how it starts i'm not gonna do the rest of it though might be a bit out of tune i'm sorry i should have tuned it before i started making this video oh my god i'm sorry if it's out of tune um i'm gonna put my trumpet away though but while i'm putting my trumpet way away would be talking about everybody's favorite thing for me to talk about Linux. Uh, so I'm at, my face is gonna be off screen while I'm putting my trumpet away. So a lot of people I know say that they can't run any Windows programs on Linux, and that's simply not true. Sure, you might not be able to run your Windows programs on Linux, and they shouldn't have. Okay, here's a better way to say it. A lot of people say that they can't get their things done on Linux, but that's not true. Like, for example, there's Wine um, that can run literally, like, net 95% of Windows programs on Linux, and there's Steam Proton, which, which can run most, like, 90s. I, I, I saw a statistic, I think it was like 97% of all games on Steam, including AAA titles. So, you, you can play games on Linux, and then there's like, like, okay, in the off chance that my, that I'd ever need to run anything on Windows that I can't run on Linux for some reason, uh, my computer's going to have 32 gigs of RAM, so I can just have a Windows VM, a Windows 10 VM that I can just boot up if I ever need to. I would dual boot, but I'm not a normie, so VMs it is, boys. Another nice thing about having 32 gigabytes of RAM is I might have, is I might get to host my server locally. Uh, so currently it's running on my friend's home server, but um, I, I, I might be able to host it locally, but I'm not 100% sure because the hardware isn't specifically made for hosting things. Like it's not server hardware, it's consumer hardware. So. I'm not sure, but it's a possibility. So, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah. All right. See you, dude.